So once you're in your system, not the dashboard, you would just go to the top here to funnels. And on the top right here, click on create. And we're going to give it a name. And I'll just call it demo funnel. And if you followed the lesson, the previous lesson that showed you how to register your domain and connect it to your, to your system of IO account and how to set up your email autoresponder, then your domain name should reflect here. Okay, it's not here because this is just a demo account I'm using, but your domain name will reflect here. For an affiliate marketing funnel, we typically want to use build an audience as the type of funnel we're going to create. Because what we want to do is we want to collect emails so that we can continue sending our offers to our subscribers. But once we've collected the email, we want to forward them to a next page or to your affiliate link. So we're going to use build a funnel. The card is you just choose US dollar and click on save. All right, now you can just click on the name of the funnel, which you just created, which is demo funnel. And now you'll see it's, it's created two pages here on the side. One is the squeeze page. The second one is the thank you page. So the easiest way to get started is to pick one of these already pre-designed templates. And you can scroll through here. You can also increase the number of, of uh, templates you want to view. But in this case, I'm just going to select this one. It seemed very simple. I click on select. And now it's added it to my funnel. So I just start off here by changing the name of the page. And I'll just call this home. If I could spell. All right. And then this extension, I'll also just call home. Once again, your, your domain should reflect here. If you've connected your domain to your system of IRL account. And now we can go ahead and say save. And we go ahead to edit the page. And it will open up the page for you the way it is at the moment. All right. So when we build a sales funnel, the big difference between a sales funnel and a website is that a sales funnel serves one purpose only. So we want to have as little confusion or distraction as possible. So as you can see at the top here, it's got home, it's got speakers, schedule, that menu. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hover over this part. You'll see this, it gets a green border and it says section. So I'm going to delete the section. Okay. And then I'm going to scroll down on the page and all these sections we're not going to be using. So I'll just go ahead and delete them. All these things just serve as distractions for your visitors to your sales funnel. So I'm going to delete all of this that we're not going to be using. And we're only going to remain with this. Okay, so this is very straightforward, very simplistic. And there are no distractions. So what you want to do is we want to start editing this page. So if you hover over the page, you'll see different blocks get uh, borders around them. So we did start with our main text. So if you want to change this, you just click on it. You can highlight whatever is in here and say, add in your own heading, for instance. So we'll just say, live the laptop lifestyle. Okay. And click out of it. Now the next part is you can add text again to it. Whatever you want to describe or what it is you offer. Let's say, I'm going to keep this very simple. They, free training so we'll just say something like that we can click out of it and we don't want this trusted brands thing so we'll just hover over it and delete it this we don't want we can just delete it we don't want this so we can delete it and now we remind with this row and we can delete that as well okay so now we've got a very clean clean page no distractions with a clear, concise message, and people shouldn't be distracted by anything. So let me just do this. So we can click on the text here. We're going to change that. Oh, we'll just say sign up. Yeah, perfect training. Okay, that can stay. We want a name, or we want to, maybe we don't want the full name, just a name. There we go. So that's the basic of it. But now we want to make it look a bit better.
Okay, so firstly, if we hover over it again, we see this section gets, gets the border around it, the green one. So we can just click on it, and on the left-hand side, this menu opens up, and now we can start making changes to what the section looks like. So if we go down here for instance to background color, if we click on that, we can change the color of the background. Okay, this page is a bit short. We want to lengthen it a little bit, so we can just scroll down to padding. And we'll say let's increase the bottom part of our page to 300, let's say. Okay, so now it's increased. And now we can decide where we want this part to display. So if we drag the top padding, it will move this a little bit. And you can position it where you want to. All right, so there you've got it, and you can click out of it. So let's just change the color of our text and everything now. So if we hover over our text, we click inside of it, we highlight the text, and there's a little color wheel right here. And if you click on that, you can change the color of your text. Let's do the same with this one. So we make that white again. All right, or whatever color you choose. Now it looks a lot better. Okay, but the, this uh, pink button doesn't really work for us. So if we click on the button, again, this menu on the side opens up, and we can just scroll down to the colors. And let's say you want to give it, no, that's terrible, a uh, goldenish color. Okay, so now we've got the basic layout. But let's say you want to change this box or this row as well. And we can go here to background color and let's make red black as well or a darker shade of black. So now once again, we change the color of our text. So here we go, have a name. I got white as well. And this part of this text here, we're going to change your color as well. All right, so now we see Mappy. All right, but it's also very important to always remember that when people see you on social media, they are more than likely on their mobile devices, on their phones. So we want to make sure that the, the page shows up correctly on a mobile phone. So if we go to the bottom here to this, we currently in the display for computer and right next to it, we've got uh, mobile. So now we must make sure that everything looks fine on mobile as well. And now if I change elements in here, it will only affect the mobile version of your sales phone. So let's we'll say, for example, I want this, this uh, heading. If I click on it once again, you get this menu on the side. So let's say I want to make this text a bit smaller so it doesn't look as uh, overwhelming on a mobile device. I can change it there. I can click out. Next. Oh, I see I have a spinning mistake there. And we can just make sure that everything looks the way we want it to look. Change the color again of the button. And if we're happy with the way it looks on mobile device, we can just click back to our computer display and that's the way it looks. But you don't have to stick to this, for instance, in a plain single color. You can also add a picture or something to the background. So how you do that is just hover over the section, click on it. And then on the side here, if you look at the bottom here, it says, it says background image. So here we can add an image to display instead of just a plain black color. And you would simply click on this little icon to upload an image. And you can drag and drop an image from your computer on here, or you can click on select file. And then select a, a picture you want to add or an image you want to add. Okay. I'll just go over here to your images because I've got one in here. And I'll say I want to use this image and insert it. Okay. So now it uses the image as the background. So we can now decide how we want this image to display. If we go on the left-hand menu here to display image, and we click where it says default, we click on this menu, and I for you to say full center, then it's going to be like that. So that's probably a bit better. 
if I wanted to, I can now click in my heading text box and I can go to the side once again and add a little bit of a, a background color. Maybe something like that. And we drag this transparency to make it a little bit more transparent, yet still stand out. We can do that. Or if I want to change the, I double click to highlight the text and go to the color wheel. I can now make it different color again. Okay. So you get the idea. I'm not, as I said, I'm not going to go into too many design features because so many things can change for each of you individually. But this is the basics of how you set up a funnel. All right, now we need to tell the system what to do once people have entered the email, the name and the email address, and they click submit. What happens then? Okay, so if we click on this button and click on it again, we get this menu. So we say to the system, okay, once people enter the, the details, they should send a, the form, in other words, to capture them as, as our subscriber. And what to do after that? So if you're going to have a if you're going to have a funnel with multiple pages on it, you can select to send the person to the next step in the funnel, in other words, the next page. Or if you're going to send them to your affiliate link, you can click here to select to a custom URL. And in the redirection URL box over here, you would then add in your affiliate link that will send people, once they've entered the email address and they click get started, send them off to your affiliate offer. So you can add that URL in here, and then you would just click on save changes and, and click to go back. All right. So now we're back in our page design dashboard. Okay. If you do want to make a second page, for instance, once somebody enters the email address and you want to send them to a second page where you want to deliver a special message to them, for instance, and you want to add a little video in there, then you can use the thank you page to do that. And once again, once you get here, you would select the template that suits you best. For instance, this one, if you're going to deliver a video message, you can select that and we're going to go ahead and edit that page. So here you would go through the exact same steps as I've just shown you on the first page, but here you can then add, for instance, a video. And if you click on the video box here, then you'll see, what do you want to do with the video? So you can add, you can either have a direct link, in other words, a link to a YouTube video, for instance, or you can have your own video and you can upload a file. Okay. So you can actually record a video and then upload your video into the system of iris um, platform and it will display on this page. So yeah, you can say under video, you can click the upload button and the same as with the images, you can drag and drop or select a video file to add in here, which I'm not going to do right now because you already have the idea how to do it. And then the layout for this page will change exactly the same way we did the landing page. Okay. So I'm going to go back because I really want to save it. All right. So if you're just going to do a one page funnel to send people directly to your affiliate offer, then this thank you page that's on the side here, you can click on the three dots and click on remove and confirm to remove this step. All right, so now you've got a simple one page funnel that collects an email address or a name and an email address and then sends people off to your affiliate offer. And you would click on, just click on always save, make sure, I always say save is your friend. So always save your work. Okay, so now if we go look at view funnel, okay, there we've got our page now. <clears throat> And once people enter the name and the email and they click on submit, then they'll be forwarded to my affiliate offer. They'll first be captured onto my subscriber list and then be forwarded to the offer that I'm sending them to. There's another important step in order to finish off our sales funnel, but we can only do that once you've set up your email sequence, which I show you in the next lesson. Okay. So once you've set up your email sequences, now we've got to say to the system, 
that once people join your email list, then they should start receiving emails. Okay, so once you've completed the email setup, which I'll show you in the next lesson, we'll come back to this page and do that part because we first need to set up our campaign in order to connect the campaign to our list. So the next lesson you need to go to is the one that says, do it yourself email campaign. And I'll see you in that lesson.